Oh, hey, YouTube, what's really good? My name is Color, coach of the South Texas Sableyes, with an on-time battle for once. I mean, I'm just assuming it's on time. I'm recording it ahead of time, and I'm going to edit it and upload it on the right day, and hopefully we're back into the swing of things. If you've seen the other battles, you know I've been just massively slammed lately, but that's not really the point of this. Just go watch the other battles. It'll explain why my channel has had a lack of content up until today, or this weekend, rather. Anyways, the moral of the story is this is going to be week, what is this, 10, 11? I think it's week 11 because we had a bye week of the NPA and our opponent is none other than Galactic Elliot, coach of the Chicago Cub Chews. Now we are doing this video live, which is something I have not done in a long time, but Elliot told me he really liked my live comms when we were at PAX and he called me a beautiful man, so I felt like I had to do this live for Elliot. That being said, let's not get psyched out, let's just get connected, get into the battle, and then try our hardest to uh you know keep we're we're six four right now let's let's try to be seven four and not uh six six five that would be better for me okay let's get connected okay so we're connected and we see that elliot decides to bring the rosa raid the volcanian which we traded him earlier in the season for milotic the uh what's this thing called meloetta the ariados the dumbrion which i don't think i have the best checks to in the mega garchomp so we don't see a few things that i was really really concerned about let me look at elliot's team real quick I was very concerned about the top of Coco. Um, I'm really surprised to not see that. I would imagine this Volcanion is Scarfed, potentially. Uh, yeah, we don't see a lot of things I thought were definitely gonna come. The Dawn fan's not here. I have no clue, man. I'm just gonna start off with uh, Cervantes here. The beautiful, beautiful Delmise, because this will let me rapid spin away his Sticky Webs should he try to set those up. Um, if, Cause if he tries to set up his Sticky Webs, then I should have hedged for Scarf Volcanion. Now that I think about it, like I have just enough speed to outpace Tapu Koko max speed on Mega Alakazam, which might just be enough for Scarf, Vol Scarf Volcanion. Actually, let's pull up a Volcanion while we're waiting here. Um, the 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 thought process here is that I think he's gonna lead Ariado, so I can just anchor shot it in on turn one. And if he doesn't, anchor shot will do a decent chunk to anything that's not Umbreon. But that's probably his like dedicated Delmai switch, anyways. Uh, Volcanion choice scarf. Let's see, 134 times 1.5. Yeah, that definitely outpaces my Mega Alakazam. Pretty sure that definitely outpaces my Mega Alakazam. Also, I haven't done a live com in a hot second, so if you notice that I'm Maybe not the freshest at this, then uh, I'm sorry. Just please try to love me either way. Actually, I think it's like a dead speed tie. Yep. I should have put four more speed EVs into this stupid thing. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go for the anchor shot here. I don't think this thing can do much to me. Like, even a Sucker Punch from it's not going to chunk too, too bad. I think it's Sucker Punch, right? Or Shadow Sneak, one of the two. Uh, Ariados. Let's see. I think it gets Sucker Punch. I could be wrong. But I swear, it definitely gets... Does it get Shadow Sneak? See, now I'm confused. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so he just sets up a Sticky Web. This Anchor Shot will do 82%. And then I think that I can just go for... Oh. Oh. It's very bulky. It's very bulky. I feel like I can just go for a Rapid Spin here. Like, he can't escape. I don't want to pop my Z move. This is a Z move. Uh, lunge. What does that do? Does that, like, lower my attack or my defense? Or that does a lot of damage. My attack fell. Huh. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Isn't that a cute, a cute little thing? This thing's bulky as, as heck. This is a heckin' bulky bubba. All right, so I'm at negative one attack. This thing took, uh, from my anchor shot not nearly enough like not nearly as much as it should um let's put it at 252 hp this thing's super bulky this thing like how did it not how did it not do that much am i is this the wrong it's the wrong delmise what's my attack stat at summary no yeah i've got no clue I've got like actual zero clues. Okay, so I don't, I really don't want him setting up, uh, I really don't want him setting up sticky webs again. I am at negative, I'm just gonna go for a shadow claw here. Um, I don't see any reason not to. He's gonna outspeed me and go for sticky webs, it's fine. The goal is that I would kill him with a rapid spin eventually. 
All right, I don't know necessarily that another Shadow Claw. I'm in negative one attack, I think. All right, how much would a Power Whip do? I want to put him in a range while well, Power Whip is doing nothing. I want to put him in a range where I can knock him out with Rapid Spin. That would be ideal for me, I think. So I think I'm just gonna, I mean, Power Whip seems so risky because then I would just be taking extra damage. I'm just gonna go for another Anger Shot and do that. Lunge, hopefully at negative two attack, this doesn't kill. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Anchor shot, please don't kill. Please, okay. I don't think that rapid spin is going to kill either. Now that's the problem. That's the, that's the whole problem is that rapid spin is also not going to kill. Hmm, maybe I should have switched out to Gligar here. Because with sticky webs up, this whole match gets so much harder. Like, this whole match gets so much harder. I think the only way I kill with the rapid spin here is if it's a crit. And I'm at, like, negative two attack. Oh, I had my attack at plus one. That's why my calcs were coming out wrong. At negative two attack, this is going to do three to five percent. <laughs> or, uh, let's see. Possible damage amounts. Nine. Does it look like he's at more than nine health? Oh, I'm going to be at negative three attack after this, right? I, I don't know. Okay, so uh, if he kills me and webs stay up, this is a problem. It's like 100% a problem if he kills me and webs stay up. It's like 100% a problem. If he doesn't kill me, I don't know, because I'll die to two more lunges. I will. Like, it's going to four hit KO me. Lunge was such hot tech. His set is so weird. I have no clue what he is. Because at base, an anchor shot, well, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have that much bulk. He just has some HP, I guess, and some attack. I think the only way this rapid spin kills is if it's a crit. I legitimately think that. I think the only way this rapid spin kills is if it's a crit. Please kill somehow. Oh my god. Okay, but no, this is good. This is good. Because if he uh, if he lunges again, I can bring in something to revenge kill it. And he sticky webs and I kill him here with a rapid spin. I think. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that out in my head. Because he can't switch out. Alright, cool. Dope. Whew. Alright, alright. We're actually not that bad at live comming as it, as it turns out. <laughs> we, we figured it out. Okay, so what else did he bring? I typically write his, uh, I typically write down what's going on here. All right. Man, I haven't live commed in a hot minute. Okay, so this is versus Elliot Ariados. I don't know how to spell this. KO'd by Delmise. Rapid spin. All right. I know he has the Mega Garchomp. I know he has the Meloetta. I know he has the Volcanion. Which is this thing. I don't know if I should switch here. Like, I'm tempted to just let this thing drop and get a fresh switch in. That's what I'm tempted to do. So let's do that. Let's just, uh. Hmm. What set did I end up bringing? What is your item? Spooky plate. So why can't I go for my Z move? Now I'm very confused. Well, I, I don't understand why I can't go for my Z move right now. Like I have zero clues about that. I mean, I think I had to let this thing drop. Um, I have pretty decent switch ins to it in my gluttony here. Like, he doesn't have... I, I don't think he'll have a fantastic switch, or I felt like a fantastic response to this, unless this thing gets psychic and I'm unaware of it. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the fake out for, I guess, chip damage. Volcanion. What else does he have on his team? Aridos, Mega Garchomp, Meloetta, Volcanion. Why could I not use my... Uh, I'm confused as to why I couldn't use... He stayed in, so we'll see what he goes for. I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake here. I think that's probably better damage output. Plus 
that's a Volcanion. Uh, this thing, we don't know what its item is. We know it's not leftovers. I guess it could be, it could be like Z, like a Z move, I guess. Um, Earthquake does 78% to a standard set. So we're just going to go, go with that. That's the play. Steam eruption. Oh, if this burns, we're kind of in trouble, actually. I didn't think this all the way through. Oh, yeah. If I was Guts, this would be fantastic. I think this... Will this still be a two-hit KO? Probably not. Let's see. It's close. Two of these plus a bullet punch might be a two-hit KO. Does he have anything that's just immune to Earthquake? No. I'm just going to go for another one. Uh, I should have brought Guts. I brought Thick Fat. I brought Thick Fat because I thought I had like a pretty bad ice weakness, but I'm Assault Vest. So the, his only like stab ice type move realistically was coming from Frost Last. I really wish I'd brought a Guts set. Thick Fat also helped out against his Volcanion though. All right, whatever. It's whatever. I should have brought Guts. Should have brought Guts. It looks like, uh... well, I don't think a Bullet Punch would actually seal the deal. It depends on what amount of health this thing ends up at, I'm pretty sure. It definitely depends on what amount of health this thing ends up at. I mean, I have things that can come in and take a steam eruption. All right, cool. So he just switches out. That's fine. Celine, what is this going to be? The Roserade? Oh, this thing. Huh. Seems a little strange. I don't know. I could be really off by saying that, but it seems like a little bit of a strange switch in. I can see it, though. As right, so this thing's leftovers. I don't know what this thing does, like, at all. Even a little bit. Uh, let's check out Meloetta. <laughs> it's a leftovers set. Uh, it's Psychic kills me if it goes for that. How concerned am I about that? I think from this point... Um, probably not super a lot. I'm gonna go for a close combat. Like, I think I can let Hariyama drop here and that's fine. I don't think that's the biggest deal. See, and we would just let it get a Calm Mind up for free. Whereas if I damage it, uh, so I'll be able to get in one attack plus a bullet punch. Uh, and this will do, it's neutral, right? Like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna do a ton of damage because I'm burned. But I think the goal here is, I think I have to go for a bullet punch this turn. Just get some damage off. I forgot it was Calm Mind, so it's not the best here. Um, let's see. So we're looking at a Meloetta that is Calm Mind. Um, I know my Alakazam will outpace it, and it's going to be at plus one. I'm currently burned. I did about 30%, I'd say. It was probably like a high roll. Okay, so I think we can just, we can just jam another one, probably. Uh, bullet Punch is doing like 6%. So Bullet Punch, well, Bullet Punch negates the leftovers, I guess, at least. If he doesn't, I think he has to kill me this turn. So I'm just going to go for the Bullet Punch, get a little bit of damage off, let this thing drop, and then go out into Alakazam, question mark? Mega Alakazam, the Shadow Ball. Oh, I can't Shadow Ball this thing because it's part normal type. That's very convenient. And now I have to rethink my entire plan because I did not think of that. Wow. Yeah, that's not great. That's actually pretty bad. Huh. Yeah, that's really bad. I think I might have just punted. Like, I think I, think I might have just punted this one away. Um, I can go out into Gligar. If he has HP Ice, I get super god. Like, so far we've just seen Calm Mine, uh, Calm Mine and Psy Shock. If he has Hidden Power Ice, and he's at plus one, uh, it's a, definitely a two-hit KO. All right, cool. Well, I have to bring, I have to bring Gligar in, and I have to go for, if he has Substitute, if he has Substitute, it doesn't even matter, right? I didn't think that through. I think I might just be super deaded here, like super dead in the water. I think I have to attempt to go for the, I think I have to attempt to go for the toxic, but if he subs up in my face, um, hopefully he just isn't packing substitute. 
If he is, I think this thing probably just single-handedly sweeps me. If he's packing substitute, I think this thing probably just single-handedly sweeps me. Which is super unfortunate. Okay, how much are we gonna take from this? It's not gonna be a ton. It's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. That's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, all right, it's poison, so at the bare minimum, we know that it's going to die at some point. Um, the goal is, what's the rest of his team? Uh, I think Gligar is actually pretty useful here. He's the Volcanium, the Aridos is down, the Umbreon's down. I think I have to preserve Gligar for the Umbreon. Like, I think I have to. Um, wow. This is not great. So, I think... Yeah, this just isn't good. Because I can't, I really can't risk, uh... All right, let's look at the damage from Hyper Voice. All right, we know he doesn't have Substitute. Probably. Uh, I wonder if he expects me to switch out. Maybe. So he's at plus one. Oh, I put him at plus one defense instead of plus one special attack. That was foolish. Yeah, so a low roll Hyper Voice. Uh, it's a 60% chance to two hit KO this specific set. So, I'm at 79 HP, so uh, a low roll okos me. Okay, so I can't stand with Gligar. Uh, if I had, like, four more HP, it'd be pretty in my favor, but I can't stand with Gligar. I don't think that, uh, I don't know. I don't think Grand Bull's super good here. If he goes for another Calm Mind, I think I'm gonna get Super Got. If he just goes for another Calm Mind in my face. Um, cause then I could've roosted, potentially. Yeah, okay. So, I think we probably live one. The goal here, oh, just kidding. Okay, I think that probably mattered. All right, now, let's see about this Raikou set we have here. All right, so I'll be able to get plus one before he can do anything to me, so I can Calm Mind in his face. And then we'll be on basically even setting. It was Psyshock that he had, right? I think it was Psyshock. So maybe, that's not the best. Hmm. Jeez, this is not great. All right, let's check out Mega Alakazam. Hyper Voice does a clean 72% to my Mega Alakazam. And I just don't have anything, I don't have anything that hits it hard. Uh, I think I have to go out into Raikou and try to calm mind in his face. I think it's the only thing I can do. I think if I Calm Mind in his face and then Substitute, we'll burn. So this is the play. Yeah, I think he's gonna go for Psy Shock now, I think. Uh, if not, then we'll be a little bit better off, but I think he's gonna go for Psy Shock because it's gonna do more damage. We're gonna Calm Mind in his face. Hopefully he doesn't go for Psy Shock. If he does, then this plan doesn't work out. But I'm thinking maybe he goes for Hyper Voice to try and hit through a potential sub. Okay, so he goes for Psy Shock here. It does, yeah, about 70%. So this is the plan. And I don't know how good of a plan it is, really. I have to bank on him not going for, uh, I have to bank on him not going for Hyper Voice this turn for this to work out, realistically. Because Thunderbolt's only gonna do 31% to him at this point. Oh no, that's not right. Because his special defense is plus one too. All right, let's put my all my things at plus one as well. All right, so yeah, Thunderbolt's gonna do 31% to him. He has more health than that left. Uh, if I go for, if I go for Substitute here, and he goes for another Psy Shock, I can at least live an extra turn. And I'm so far behind right now that I think this is my best shot at winning, realistically. Like, basically, for me to win this game, I think the rest of his team has to be pretty slow. Like, I don't think I can face a Scarfer and win. Because he has the Roserade, which is really bad against Mega Alakazam. Roserade. The... Uh, let's see. What else does he have? He has this. He has one more thing that I'm not thinking of. And I've looked at his team like three times at this point. He's probably mulling over whether to switch out or whether to go for Hyper Voice here, I bet. 
If he switched out, I'd feel super good about this. Like if he's like running calcs and he doesn't want his Meloetta to die yet, I'd feel very good. Because then I would be behind a sub with a Calm Mind up, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think what's going to happen is hopefully, hopefully he doesn't go for Hyper Voice. Um, hopefully he just goes for another Psy Shock trying to kill me. And then hopefully, um, okay, so please, no Hyper Voice, no Hyper Voice, come on. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Jesus. Okay. This thing has killed, what, three of my Pokemon already? Is that correct? How much toxic damage? How much are you at after uh, toxic? That's not enough. That's not enough. I think he wins this game. I have to go out into Mega Alakazam here. Like, I, I don't have a choice. I have to go out into Mega Alakazam. Um, Psychic doesn't kill from this range. It does not. Uh, he's gonna go for Hyper Voice every time. What do you have left? The Umbreon. Yeah, I, well, okay, so... Umbreon. Alright, so, I, I have, like, outside potential, I guess, but it's, it's super loose. I have to go for Psychic here. I have to Mega Evolve and go for Psychic here. It's super loose just because... Man. I just didn't predict this. Does this thing get like Shadow Ball or something? If it's just like Calm Mine, if it has Shadow Ball, I just lose on the spot, I think. Because I have to live in attack right now. Like, I have to live in attack to have a shot. I've got some HP investment, but if this thing has Shadow Ball, then I just lose on the spot. And I think the only th the only way I'm killing this with uh, Psychic is like a crit. Because I just didn't prepare for this, I guess. Like, I'm just not good at this game. I feel really bad right now. I just glazed over this thing in prep, and I probably... I guess I shouldn't have. I guess I should have actually paid attention to it. So, do I live here? Okay. Oh! That does less to me than Hyper Voice. I could have gone for a sub here, and it would have been much better. I could have gone for a sub, and it would have been much better. So much better. Now I feel kind of foolish. Alright, so we take this thing out. After it kills actual four of my Pokemon, right? Like, it killed... Yeah, like, actual four of my Pokemon. Or three? Four. Ugh, okay. Alright. If it goes down to Umbreon right now, uh, I think I can just go into Gligar. And... I don't know if the combination of Gligar and Mega Alakazam can win this game for me. But it's close, because we know that his Volcanion is not... It's not Scarfed. Um, I could probably live a hit from his Roserade. That's my guess. I could be wrong. It would have to be Scarfed out to be me, but I'm thinking I could probably live a hit from it. Um, the Mega Garchomp is problematic, I suppose. The Mega Garchomp is pretty problematic. Like, if he switches into the Mega Garchomp, I think I just have to go out into Gligar here, which is on Fort. I'm hoping he goes out into the Umbreon, and then I can sort of get something going where... Uh, potentially, like, I go out into my Gligar. What is this? Alright, so... Whew, alright. Um, I don't have super... a ton of outs here, so I'm just gonna go out into Gligar here. And hope that this works out in my favor. Let's see. Because I couldn't stay in under any circumstance. Just like actual no circumstance let me do, lets me do that. I should be able to eat this up. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. So I'm actually going to click Taunt here or Roost. I think I'm just going to click Roost because I don't think there's anything you can really do. Uh, so I'm going to click Roost. And then the turn after this, depending on what happens, is we'll see where we go. So let's see, what are you doing? What's your play here? Uh, wish. I guess that's fine. Um. Oh, this going out to the Volcanion's pretty good. I'm actually just gonna click Toxic here. Uh, I don't think he'll protect this turn. I think he'll go. I, I guess I should have clicked Taunt on that turn. Thinking about the Volcanion, I definitely should have clicked Taunt. Oh my god, so bad. That's really bad. That's a bad, that's a bad idea. That was a bad play. Because I think Gligar single-handedly can break through the uh, 
Dragon right, single-handedly can break through the Umbreon, potentially. But I don't think that... Oh. Well, now I'm confused. Because I, I was for sure that maybe he's going to... He'll dry pass here. That makes sense. Just wish Baton pass. That's a good play. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Smart. Smart. Right out into the... Uh, to the Volcanion. Yeah, that's rough. I, I don't even think I have like a... I think I'm probably just dead, actually. Uh, let's see. He probably has to get a flare thing off to realistically outspeed me. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, if he goes for... If he goes for a Steam Eruption... Oh, I outspeed. Oh my god, that's huge. Is there any chance we... I don't want to ask for a crit. It'd be kind of scummy. Oh my god, that's so important. Holy, I did, what is the accuracy on this move? I actually did not think that that move could miss. Oh my god, so I just go for another earthquake, right? Like I have to. Yeah, 100%, I just have to go for another earthquake. Holy, that's an awful miss. I feel really bad about that miss. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even going to lie. I feel awful about that miss. Um, this is also a pretty good spot for me. I think that... I know this is going to be like... This is going to be super scummy to say. I think that miss might be exactly what I needed to get back in this game. I'm going to taunt him on this turn. We already know that we're faster. So then he can't wish pass back out into that thing. And I know for sure that Gligar can 1v1 the Umbreon. And it can 1v1 the Garchomp. So presuming that the Roserade's not Choice Scarf... Oh my god, that's huge. That's so big. I have to pay attention to when the taunt wears off for sure. Like I have to pay attention to when the taunt wears off. Um, I think I just I think I just go for Earthquake here. It puts I'm assuming he switched out into the Roserade. In which case I think I have to switch out into the into Mega Alakazam. Just because if the Roserade's Technician and it goes for Hidden Power Ice, uh, this shuts down like my entire game plan. And Alakazam can probably eat one of those. Roserade. Let's hope it's not Scarf. Oh, wow. Roserade does a lot of damage to Mega Alakazam. What's my Mega Zam at? I might not be able to do this actually. I still might not be able to win, now that I think about it. Like, I mean, if he switches out here, I'm pretty much guaranteed not to win, because I need this specific Pokemon to be low. I think Umbreon wins in the game here, so maybe the miss doesn't matter as much as I think it did. Because I for sure probably cannot live an attack from this Rose Raid. I don't know. Let's run some Calcs. But I also don't think I can switch out into Mega Alakazam. Oh. This is actually... Huh. I'm at 140 health. If he has Hidden Power Ice, that's super good. Uh, like, Hidden Power Ice has to kill, right? Let's check. Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, it's a guaranteed Oko. It's a guaranteed Oko. But if I switch out into Mega Alakazam... And he goes for Hidden Power Ice. It still does 50%. What's my Mega Alakazam's HP at? 91. And it's 60%. That means any stab attack from this Roserade kills me. I think I have to stay in and go for another Earthquake. Um, I think it's the only way I win. I think it's the actual only way I win. Is if I stay and go for another Earthquake and he doesn't have HP Ice. Giga Drain. Oh. Well... We live a few of these, but I think that probably seals the deal, right? Like, that probably seals the deal, I believe. How do I win this? My Mega Alexander doesn't have Focus Blast because I'm an idiot. It does not have Focus Blast because I'm an idiot. All right, I think I have to go for Roost here. I'm not going to live any attack. 
Okay. I think this cinches up the game for him. I'm pretty sure. I'm like relatively certain. I don't know what his Umbreon's at exactly, but I, okay, so it is Life Orb. So we know it's not Scarf. All right, so. I don't think I can just go for Psychic here, honestly. Technician. That's pretty good, actually. And I have HP Fire, so I can just go for that. Because now I have Technician. Okay, cool. So that'll let me do... All right. We might actually be getting there. Uh, let's look at Umbreon set. HP Fire, when my ability is Technician, is going to do a maximum of 22%. All right. I'm going to do it. Uh, Hidden Power Fire. Please come through. It's smart of him not switch into the Umbreon. And now he knows that it's something that's super effective against this. So he's thinking Ice or Fire, I'm sure. Those are like the obvious ones. Um, oh, I don't even think I can kill the Garchomp. I forgot the Garchomp was still around. I probably had to switch out into Mega Alakazam on this thing, to be, to be real with you. Uh, because... I should have been bold. I should have been bold. Because Mega Alakazam would have taken... Oh, no. Giga Drain actually had a chance to Oko, so... I don't know. I'm not in a great position. Maybe I can feign that this is Hidden Power, uh... Hidden Power Ice. He has a, yeah, I don't think I can win because he still has three Mons left. He still has three Mons left, and I don't think Mega Alakazam is going to break through all three. I really don't even think I can break through just Umbreon. If I had Hidden Power Ice, I think we'd have a pretty good shot. But Psychic to Garchomp is not going to be enough. Why did I bring up such a weird set? I should have had Psychic, Focus, Blast, Hidden Power, Ice. If that was my set, I think I would win. Like, on the spot. If that was my set, I think I'd win on the spot. Why did my Psychic, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Fire? Hidden Power, Fire is for the Durant. Because... I was packing HP Ice on my Raikou, which I've already had to let drop. Ugh. I just played so poor. Like, the only way I win this realistically, I think, is by getting multiple crits, which would be super scummy. Okay, so he's going out of this thing. Oh, it's at much higher health than I thought it was. It's at much higher health than I thought it was. All right, so... Umbreon, the cleric set, foul play kills me, right? I actually have a shot to live one foul play. <laughs> All right, let's go for the hidden power. Oh, we yeah, have sucker punch. Oh, we just lose. We just lose. All right, GG. All right, so Elliot rolled me. My prep was pretty bad. My prep was not good. Um, geez, I wish I'd, I wish I had really done better. Uh, my differential right now is plus eight. So after this, it's going to be plus five. It's going to be plus five and I'll be six, five. Ugh. This is a rough loss. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Because legitimately, I think all I needed there was hidden power ice focus blast. Because how much would focus blast have done to this stupid thing? Let's see. If I had focus blast. Oh, it. No, I don't think so. All right. Yeah, we just lost. We lost. All right. Let me... Ah, man. That was rough. That was rough because, like, I had outs. I had the ability to win, but I let this Meloetta set up a calm mind, and that's garbage. Really, I think the burn on the Hariyama mattered a lot. I mean, obviously, like, Steam Eruption has a 30% chance to burn, but still. I think the burn mattered a lot, and on top of that, I just didn't play the greatest. My, the team I brought was not great. The team I brought was not great for Elliot's team, to be honest, but... Man, alright, okay. Well, this is my my review of live Wi-Fi battles. Sorry that I played poorly. Uh, I've used this excuse in the past, so I'm not gonna say, like, 100% this is the reason, but I feel like switching from battling when I don't have to be activated and trying to commentate is so different from battling, um kind of like live like doing these live wi-fi battles because i have to be kind of like turned on and on point the entire time i feel like it's a lot harder to do that when i'm also trying to commentate um it's it's i'm definitely rusty at it i think i used to be much better at it anyways the moral of the story is we didn't play that great the team we brought was kind of loose uh i wish i had brought something i i, I wish i had played better basically 
Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I'd done better things. Anyways, the moral of the story is, uh, Elliot's good game. If you don't know who Elliot is, definitely go check him out. Twitch streamer, YouTube content creator, great guy. Really, really kind, sweet guy. He's also a beautiful man. He also looks like the lead singer of Data Remember, if you know who that band is. Um, other than that, if you're new here, you should subscribe because we're going to start uploading more. Not specifically just Pokemon content either. Like, I'm catching up on all the Pokemon content that I'm behind on. Currently, I mean, you will have already seen it. This is past me talking to future you, but um, we're, we're going to start uploading different things. Like, I've got a lot of sweet videos planned. Um, so if you're new, subscribe. You should definitely click that like button. It'll help me get over this loss. We are currently 6-5. Uh, so I think I still think we have a playoff shot if we win our next battle, but I'm not like 100% on that either. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't really know how playoffs work. I, I, I don't really understand how they work. I mean, I do, but... I don't understand seating quite yet. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute most. My name is Invivid Color. You should comment in the comment section down below. Uh, you can call me trash and I will heart your comment. And I'll probably respond to comments for like the first two days. But, you know, I've got to go. Um, I, I used to have a friend and she would end her YouTube videos by saying peace, love, bye. <laughs> oh, that's cringy. Gotta go. Tell me something.